Hello everyone, this is Michelle from Performance High and uh, we are here today or I am here today with round two, day two of 10 by 10 at 10. I didn't even think about that until yesterday. Um, I didn't plan that. I just, 10 o'clock seemed like a good time to do it. And uh, I guess the number 10 was in my mind because yeah, it turned into 10 by 10 at 10. And this is our home workout uh, for today, uh, 10 exercises in 10 minutes. Um, and so all you need is just your workout clothes, uh, just something that you can sweat a little bit in and um, some space. Today is the rockin' and rollin' day of exercises, and you'll see what I mean in just a minute here. Um, so you're gonna need some space to kind of clear out. I kind of moved my coffee table and my piano bench under so I give myself a little bit of space. So, um, hey Julie, thanks for watching. Uh, thanks for joining in, hopefully. We get to do some fun stuff today. Um, so I have my watch set for a one minute timer um, and when the beep goes off, we'll change exercises. So I'll show you modifications uh, along the way and give you some technique tips so that hopefully uh, the exercises can be done to their, to their fullest and we'll get um, a full body workout, some good cardio, um, as well as a little upper body, a little lower body and a little core. That's the plan. So if we are ready, let's get started. I'm gonna take my mic off and then uh, move on back and we'll start the workout. Okay. This would actually be a great one for the kids to do too. If you have kids at home, they would probably love this workout because there's lots, like I said, it's the rock and roll uh, um, workout today. Not because of the music, but because of the exercises. So here we go. Let's get started. All right, taking that off. Okay. I'm gonna adjust my camera just a little bit this way. All right, let's do this. Okay, we're gonna start. I realized yesterday that I did lots of this. So I'm gonna try and do less of that today because <laughs> I watched it back. Funny what you see yourself do. All right, starting my watch and we are gonna start with walking lunges. So watch is going. So just for a side view, we're gonna have hands behind our head and we're gonna sit up nice and tall and we're gonna take a nice big step forward, come down into that lunge as far as you can. Big thing with lunges is that you want to have your knee at or behind your front toe. So we're not going to lean forward like this into the lunge. We're going to keep the weight in the heel. Both knees bend. Stand up. Take another step. Come down into that lunge. Keep your body nice and tall as you do this. Stand up. Take another step. So I'm going to do this by walking this way. And then I'll come back the other way. And we're just going to keep tall as we do this. Big step. Big step. Rotate. This is just kind of our little warm-up exercise here to just kind of get things moving. It's also a balance exercise. You can see me moving all over the place. Keep those nice upright posture. Nice big steps. Rotate. Nice big steps. And there's our time. Next, squat rockers. So squat rockers, you're going to come down into a squat. So about hip width apart, feet facing straight forward, your comfortable squat position, and you're gonna rock forward onto your toes, and then back whoop, onto your heels. Forward onto your toes, back onto your heels. Kind of warming up the lower body. Onto your toes, onto your, woo, onto your heels. It's definitely a balanced thing. You can have that a little higher if you want a little less. Work on the quads. I cannot hold that and talk at the same time. Toes and heels. This is working on front of calves as well as your calves. So tibialis anterior, that's the muscle in the front. And then the calf muscles in the back. And then a bunch of balance. And just kind of warming up the bottom half. All right, for the next exercise, which is squat jumps. Okay, so we're going to come down into our squat. Touch the ground if you can. Hop up. Down into the squat. Hop up. Down into the squat, hop up. Couple things on these squat jumps. We're gonna land lightly. Lightly, so we're gonna cushion that landing as we do this. We're gonna also try and keep those knees wide. So we're not gonna be like this. We have those knees out wide. Like so. Low impact version, right here. If you just wanna do the squat to extension part, that's fine. Just like that. Or you can do the full jump. 
Again, weight is in the heels. Weight in the heels. Should feel those quads start to burn a little bit now. Especially after those squat rockers, right? Good extension through the hips. Good jumps. Thank goodness, right? Oh, okay. Next, push-ups, two side planks. So, we're gonna start in our push-up position. This can be knees as well. I'll show this first with knees. We're gonna do our push-up. And then we're gonna rotate into a side plank. We're gonna do a push-up into a side plank. One modification, here's another modification. Push-up into a full plank, then rotate. Okay, do the knee push-up into a full plank and rotate. Full version is obviously push-up. I did a hard upper body workout already this morning. So I'm tired. Into plank. Push-up. Into plank. I'm going back to the modified because whoa, arms are already tired. Oh good. There we go. Okay, next exercise. So we are gonna do a bunch of rockers. Here's where the rockers come in. So there's, there's three different kinds, side, front, and back. So I'll show you all the versions. We're gonna do this for three minutes total, and you can just switch between them as you like. So here's our side version, lying straight, and we're gonna just do a little rocking action. Obviously there's two sides. So we can do this for a little bit. That's one side. The other side. There's the back version, this way. Like so. And then the front version, this way. So there was one minute. All right, we're gonna do these for two more minutes. So you can just mix and match them as you like. Maybe you do like 10 of each. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. And then we go to our front and we do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10 to the other side. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then to our back. Two. If these are all a little bit too challenging in terms of getting off the floor, which they are, then we can just hold and do little ones. There's our second set. One more minute of these guys. We can just hold and do little pulses. That'll work too. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Little pulses. Two, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten. One. And this is getting all the way around the floor. You'll feel these in all kinds of fun places. Pulses. I can't talk and do this. Woo! All right. And back. And we'll just kind of rotate around until our time beeps, which is going to be in just a little bit here. There it is. Okay. Enough of those, right? All right, then we're gonna go into elevated bridge or bridges, either way. So I'll show you a couple different versions of these. Here's our standard bridge. So feet are about shoulder width apart, press into the heels, lift those hips. There's one version, okay? A little harder would be elevated leg and lift. There's our version number two right there, okay? Elevated leg and lift. Elevated leg and lift. And then version number three, if you have something that you can put your feet on, like a coffee table or a chair, 
Put those feet on that chair and then lift those hips. This gets a little more into your hamstrings, a little more into glutes. And you can do any combination of those or whichever one you like the best. And we're just doing a good lift, good hip extension. Okay. All right, next exercise, plank walkouts. So we're coming back to our plank position. And we're gonna do these with a shoulder tap too. So we're gonna walk our feet back as far as we're comfortable, walk them back in. Once you get your shoulders over your hands, you're gonna do a shoulder touch, shoulder touch. Walk those feet out. Kinda hold that position, come back in. And shoulder touch, shoulder touch. If you're doing this from a modified version, you do it the other way. We'll walk those hands out, like so. And walk those hands back in, till they're underneath your shoulders. And then shoulder touch, shoulder touch. This would be your modification. I guess you could do your knees too. Yeah, I guess you could do that. That would work too, like so. Okay, all right, last exercise. Last exercise is another rock and roll one. You might like this one. Your kids especially will like this one. It's rolls to a squat. So we'll do this in a couple of little steps here. So the roll is like so. There's the roll, okay? There's the roll. And then your squat, you're gonna have your knees when you come to the ground, you're gonna have your knees fairly wide apart because what you're gonna do is roll into a squat. Stand up, back down, roll. Momentum works really well for this. And flexibility too. And roll, like so. If we cannot do this transition right there, that's the hard one right there. You can always give yourself a little push and up, okay? Do a little roll, come here, push and up. That would work too, just like that. Little roll, push. And up, okay, people, there you go. 10 by 10, we did it. 10 minutes of, get back into the frame here. 10 minutes of just a couple weird little exercises maybe that are kind of fun to do something maybe you haven't done before to keep you from going stir crazy when you're indoors for so much. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I will be back tomorrow at 10 o'clock also, so. I will see you tomorrow for another round of 10 by 10. Have a great day, everyone. Keep your spirits up. Keep washing those hands and enjoy the sun as much as you can. Thanks for watching so much. We'll see you next time. Bye.